In this video, I'm gonna break down a lot of Final Cut Pro's lesser known symbols and icons. In your viewer, you might frequently see this red rectangle show up on the right hand side. Well, this just indicates that you are actually zoomed in on the footage that you are currently looking at. If I were to zoom in further with Command Plus, you can see that that rectangle gets even smaller. I can also click and drag on that rectangle to move around where I am looking at inside of the viewer. If you want to get rid of it, a really simple way is to push either Shift Z or to go up here to the top right hand corner and just select Fit. A question I get asked very frequently is what is this puzzle icon in the top left hand corner of my particular version of Final Cut Pro? This is simply just a place where people can store workflow extensions, aka plugins, for Final Cut Pro. So if I were to click on that, you can see in here I have got Audio Design Desk's Audio Bridge, I have Command Post, and I have Creator's Best Friend. This is just a neat and tidy place that Final Cut Pro keeps all the workflow extensions so you can have quick and easy access without cluttering up your workflow. Looking through the different media inside of your browser, you might notice these little icons in the top left hand corner. This can indicate what kind of clip you are looking at. This icon indicates that it is a multicam clip. You can see how it almost looks like four different clips all in a single shot. This icon looks like a chain link and that just means that it is a synchronized clip. This icon indicates that it is a compound clip. And then of course, no icon means it is just a regular clip inside of your browser. You might also notice this little circle icon in the top left hand corner of some of your clips. And that just indicates that it is a slow motion clip, which can be slowed down on your timeline. There's a very good chance you've seen this icon quite a bit in your projects. And that is when your media gets unlinked. Taking a look at the left hand side of our browser, you can see that I have a regular event, but just above that is an event that has a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark inside of it. That just indicates that there is missing media inside of this event. So I've either deleted that media inside a finder that was inside of that event and it can no longer find it, or I've just simply moved it out of the original folder. You can see when I select it that I can clearly see that I have my missing media right here with this big red icon. And once again, we can see that triangle with the exclamation mark in a much larger format. Whenever you have your playhead at the very beginning of your project, you'll notice there's this film strip icon on the left side. This just indicates that you are on the very first frame of your entire project. Additionally, if we take our playhead to the very last frame, you'll notice that we're at the end of the film strip. So again, that's just another indication of where you are in space on your timeline. That way you can quickly identify if you have any other frames happening after this moment. And finally, the last symbol that you should be aware of on your timeline is markers. When I push M, it goes ahead and adds in this blue marker, but this marker can actually have multiple different colors. If I double click on it, you'll see we have this additional menu. And now I could change this over to a to do marker, which will then change it to this kind of burnt orange color. But if I were to mark that as completed, it will now turn it to green. And then finally, if I select the chapter marker, it's going to change it to this kind of orange yellow look, but you'll also see this long handle coming off the right hand side. That is essentially the thumbnail for that chapter marker. So if you opened this up in QuickTime and you were flipping through the different chapters, you could see a quick thumbnail of what is happening inside of that chapter. If this video is helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may want to check out this video of 10 things that I just recently learned as an editor inside of Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.